Hey what's up guys, how are you all? This is Ram and you are watching Infinity Explorer. Welcome to Bot Building Series. In my previous video that is Robot Building Series episode number 1, I explained you everything about all the components and their connections. So in today's video, I am going to tell you a bit more about DPDT switches and their connections. So let's get started. A subscribe would be appreciated and that makes a difference. Thank you so much. So in today's video, I am going to teach you about different types of switches and we will be focusing more on DPDT switches and connecting the switches to motors. If you came here only to know about DPDT connections, you can skip this chapter and go to the chapter directly, timestamps in the description. There are different types of switches, mainly SPST, SPDT, DPST, DPDT. SPST stands for single pole, single through and SPDT single pole dual through, DPST dual pole single through and DPDT dual pole dual through. And what are these poles and what are these throws? Let me explain. Simply, the amount of circuits controlled by the switch is indicated by poles. Single pole switch controls only one electric circuit, double pole controls two independent circuits. Whereas throw means how many different output connections every switch pole can connect its input. Working of SPST switch The single pole single through is a basic on off switch that just connects or breaks the connections between two terminals. You can see the diagram here. It's just a normal switch which breaks or makes the connection. Working of a SPDT switch These switches are used in a three way circuit to turn a light on or off from two locations such as from the top and the bottom of a stairway. Here we are controlling two circuits or paths by a one way of source. Working of DPST switch DPST stands for dual pole single through. Dual pole means that the unit contains two identical switches side by side and operated by single toggle or a lever. This means two independent circuits are controlled at the same time by a single push. If you didn't understand, rewind back the video and watch it again. I think you guys can understand easily by seeing the diagrams. And finally, working of DPDT switch. DPDT stands for dual pole dual through switch. This is equal to two SPDT switches. It has six pins, two for input and four output pins. If you see in the diagram, the middle ones are used for battery, that means input and the top ones are used for motors, it's one output and the bottom ones are also for another motor, it's another output. That means you have two input pins and four output pins. But you can only toggle one side. Let me explain this clearly by showing the connections and a practical model. Here comes the connection of DPDT switches to motors. Here is a DPDT switch. It has 6 pins in total, it's like 2 SPDT switches attached. Let me tell you a small hack. You can connect the wires through the holes given on pins and solder it. But it's somewhat difficult to handle like that. You can use the battery clips instead for better handling and it's an easier way to connect and disconnect wires. Easy right? Now let me tell you how to connect motors. The middle two pins are for input, so I will connect them to a battery. Now connecting motors to first two poles. Now if you press upwards, motor runs and if you press backwards, nothing happens. And the same process repeats if you only connect to the pins on lower side. Now let's get back to what we saw in the previous video. If you didn't watch that video, it's a complete video about making your first robot and I will drop the links in the description. Watch that video after watching this video. We have two motors connected on each side in parallel. If I push the switch forward, it moves forward. If I push it backward, it moves backward. How to connect like that? It's simple. Have a look. If you connect my motor to a battery, it rotates in one direction clockwise, polarity is changed and if you change the polarity, it rotates in opposite direction, counterclockwise. So in the switch itself, we will make a small fix. 
Let's connect the wires in X shape like this. We are inverting the polarities, so it moves in one direction if you push upwards and moves in opposite direction if you press backwards. In the same way, connect one more DPT to switch to other motors as well. Now it's done. And I connected this extra wires for the battery. You can use two batteries, but I don't want to add another battery. So take the battery wires to the one switch and extend it to the other switch. Refer to the circuit diagram for better understanding. I will drop the links in the description. If you have any queries, ask me in the comments or through Instagram. This is Dam signing off. Have a good day.